Hello gentle people, Jeff here. Welcome back to the Cargan station. Um, I haven't made a video for uh, two weeks now. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I was in vacation, returned to work, and you know, you know what it is. And I've done a lot of uh, woodworking outside in my uh, at the house, make a wooden planter box and something like this. Um, so yeah, I haven't carved, well in fact, I still have carved a lot, but uh, I haven't made a video out of it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to chat to you a little bit, uh, that will be my second vlog. Um, give you a little update into uh, what I've been doing, what I've been thinking about doing for the future and everything. Um, so as you might have seen now, um, I rebranded my channel to QS Outdoors and Carvings. Uh, that was never the plan really when I started my channel. I wanted to do hikings and outdoor videos. Uh, but as I started, the pandemic happened and uh, I was pretty much stuck inside, right? Like everybody else. Um, so then I started woodworking and carving and I just decided to start making videos out of that too. And then that's... Uh, well, thanks for that. My video got quite a lot of uh, subscribers and views and everything. So uh, I'm not planning to stop that anytime soon. Uh, so why not putting that in the name, I guess? Uh, because <laughs> QS Outdoors is spending a lot of time indoors, I have to say, uh, with the video that I'm putting in the channel. So there's that. Um, apart from this, um, well, another part of the channel that I wanted to do when I started was to go, uh, uh, well, film basically every time I go to medieval markets and stuff. I do uh, historical Viking reenactment, go figure. I carve Vikings, and I'll co I also do Viking reenactment. Uh, and then I can finally go to one this weekend. Uh, which marked the end of the season that not really started, but you know, so uh, I will make a video out of that I don't think that will probably attract a lot of views or anything, but you know, that's that's what I love and uh, I will be able to show you probably uh, you know, How things are done there and other wood carver more inclined into medieval stuff and other crafts uh, and everything there will be a lot of cool activities uh, that I will try to uh, well to film uh, and put a video uh, for that. Uh, so there's that thing too, uh, that I will probably hope to do more in the future. Um, I'm also planning to go back in the wood at some point. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Uh, well, I'm so to 700 subscribers, which is pretty cool. You know, I was, uh, the last vlog was, uh, I was at 499. Thanks for, again, basswood uh, carving uh, for the shout out that gave me a lot of uh, of subs so that was really nice uh, of him so we're getting to a thousand soon maybe I don't know we'll see uh, there's that so yeah why didn't I posted a video in two weeks I was working on something uh, looking at other videos uh, you probably all of you who's been subscribed to me uh, I've also subscribed to the bigger uh, carver out there bigger channels including Doug and Jean and Kevin Coates, but there's also Sharon My Art that uh, sadly she hasn't posted more videos for years uh, from the series that she had, the step-by-step -step to carve little men. And uh, I was re-watching them and I basically told myself I should do the same thing uh, with my flat plane Viking that, I've, that I'm doing. So uh, it was a bit of a grind, but I've created a board for myself uh, that is just behind me right there, but I will show you a, a video above, uh, above my voice of uh, what's, what you can expect next week. I will start recording the videos about that probably this weekend, and uh, that will be a mini-series of uh, these 11, 12 steps into how I carve my little Viking. Um, the idea came to be because, well, sadly the comment was removed by the person, uh, but I took it to heart. It was a really good uh, criticism comment, uh, I think, um, basically saying that uh, they got pretty frustrated because they went into one of my Carve a Night video all the way to the middle, but then at some point, you know, I probably went into the flow of things and I was moving super fast and I can understand that if you were like super, super beginner, it's super hard to follow. 
and uh, I'm really sorry for that. I would try to keep that in mind, but as with carvers, you know, when you go into the flow, you just want to carve, and it's teaching at the same time is super hard. And I'm not a teacher, obviously. Uh, so these step-by-step -step video will be really detailed, and I will take my time to talk about every single cut that I do. Um, so I hope you will like to see that. Um, so that's what is planned for next week. It's also, uh, I'm planning to do classes. You know, I've been on the carving for a year. Um, so it would be like from a beginner to beginners, I guess. Um, but my little um, flat plane Viking uh, are fairly popular. You know, I sold a couple of them. I keep every few days I get people asking me if they can buy them. I'm not selling anything right now because it's a bit of a hassle to ship and everything, but that will happen again. The plan was always to, you know, like I said, I do Viking reenactment and the plan was always to go sit my butt at a Viking market and sell my carvings. Um, and that's still the plan. Uh, but I was also thinking about probably making a little bit of courses uh, from time to time, some classes. I could do them online, uh, but the plan is to do them live. Um, and this step-by-step -step board will be really useful for that. So in any case, if, if anyone is interested into online class, you could let me know in the comments. I could also probably do that. Uh, because, yeah, following a video is, you know, I've done it myself to learn, obviously, and I have these books behind me, more of a, you know, guide than step-by-step -step how to carve, uh, at least that's how I use them. But uh, sometimes it's hard to follow videos, right? Um, it's not always that easy, and it's maybe it's better to have someone to talk to and explain the process. So I was thinking about probably doing that. Uh, that could be something interesting. And reading um, right there, uh, I think, yeah, the book of uh, Let's Carve a World of Gnome from Nikki Rees. Um, I had a little back and forth chat with her on Instagram, and uh, because I was pretty surprised to see that she started carving like a year and a half ago or something like that, and she already made a book. And um, I was like, well, maybe I could do that too. <laughs> So with my little Viking dudes, um, because I've been working on the step-by-step -step, uh, plank that I have now, but also with the same single pattern, I could do a lot of variant, you know, with a hood, without a hood, bald hair, uh, just a ponytail, a shield instead of two swords. Uh, I could do a knight instead of uh, a Viking guy, having a cloak, no cloak, pants, no, like, you know, there's, there's a lot of variation I can do with the same single pattern, uh, which is great uh, to probably write a little book about it. So we'll see if that idea comes to fruition. Uh, I, I don't know, I never wrote anything before. That's not what I do, I don't write. Um, so we'll see. Um, it, there's a uh, Fox Chapel Publishing, which is the one publishing the the, the gnome book, but also uh, the little uh, mythical creature here is also published by these. I was looking at their website, and uh, it seems pretty straightforward if you want to apply, even though they probably get a billion um, requests. Um, but I think what I have is different to the extent that there's not a lot of like. Viking focus book maybe it's because people don't really care about that but also my the style that I'm trying to develop with the flat planes and the really uh, easy to carve flat planes uh, Vikings that I'm doing uh, maybe that could be cool as a book I guess uh, so yeah um, I think that's pretty much it uh, I don't have anything else to talk about uh, so yeah bear with me new carving videos are coming um, and then I will probably like I said post bonus videos uh, from uh, time to time about outdoor stuff Viking markets and medieval things or whatever uh, we'll see what lies in the future because the pandemic is soon starting to be over I guess let's hope so yeah uh, that's it I hope um, you will stay with me uh, with the journey ahead and um, yeah, my new name is QS Outdoors and Carvings. That's not about to change. 
Um, and then, yeah, we will see each other, well, probably next week, I hope, in the step-by-step -step, uh, mini-series that I'm doing. So thanks for watching, and uh, have an amazing day, and we'll see each other really soon. Bye-bye.